Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Riz and welcome to another awesome video. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can screen mirror your Android, any Android phone, to your Samsung or a known Android simple TV. It's completely free, you don't have to download any third party apps. It just, it works. Everything is built into it. And trust me on this, it takes literally one click to do this. And it's so awesome. You can even use your camera on your Android phone if you want to. So let me just use that and show you how it works. So let me, let me take a photo of, uh, of the iPhone. Let me do that. Okay. Oh, by the way, the audio will be coming from your TV. So, all right. So let me open up the photo. Apologize if the phone is laggy and it just works awesome. And it works in the, uh, and it works and it, and it works in the full screen as well. So if you do full screen, that TV is gonna go full screen as well. And me and you, you have tons of great options. It's just pretty awesome. So I know it's pretty awesome. Let's just dive right into it. All right, so as I've said before, you don't have to download anything on your Android phone. This will work with literally any Android phone you have. Again, if you have a different smartphone, different brand of smartphone, just comment down below. I got tons of videos on Samsung, LG, Motorola, just name the brand and I will link you the video. All right, so also I'll, link, I'll put the links in the description box below. Okay, so as I said before, you don't have to download anything on your Android phone. As you can see, this is a Redmi phone. So the first thing you wanna do on your phone is head over to your settings page. Wait, head over to your settings. Inside the settings, you wanna go into your Wi-Fi settings. Now, by the way, by the way, if you don't have home Wi-Fi, don't worry about it. I'm gonna show you another way into the video so keep watching for now just make sure your phone is connected to your home wi-fi in this case my home wi-fi is right there it is connected and that is pretty much all you have to do on your android smartphone that's pretty much all you have to do now let's jump into the tv and let's do this all right so the first thing you want to do on your tv it doesn't matter what tv you have it doesn't matter what tv you have this is a known android samsung tv from 12 years ago trust me on this okay the first thing you want to do is head over to your menu settings into the menu you have to go to your network settings now inside the network head over to your uh, network status by the way if you have done this before click on the network status that will automatically connect your tv to your ethernet cable or wi-fi or the hotspot or you could go into your network settings and it will automatically search for all the available networks you have. Now here, I'm gonna show you how you can use the hotspot, okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do is basically use my phone as a hotspot, so if you don't have home Wi-Fi or anything like that, you don't have to worry about it. That, by the way, is my home Wi-Fi. So in this case, I'm just gonna use my mobile hotspot. Really simple, head over to your settings. I've enabled it, by the way. So head over to your settings, go to your, go to your portable hotspot, Inside the, inside the hotspot, just turn on the hotspot and it will cost you credit. So just be careful with the mobile hotspot, depending on where you live, depending on what data plan you have, it might cost you credit. So in this case, my hotspot is turned on. So let me just refresh the, uh, let me just refresh and it should be available. Um, I think there you go. There you go. There you go. My hotspot is available. It's pretty awesome. You can. You can connect your TV to your hotspot in case you don't have home Wi-Fi. But I will recommend you use your home Wi-Fi. It's free, it's homey, and you don't have to worry about data plan or anything like that. So just click on your home Wi-Fi and it will automatically connect your TV to your home Wi-Fi. In this case, you can use your Wi-Fi, you can use your Ethernet cable if you want to. Just make sure your TV is connected to your internet. All right, so now what you wanna do is to, you have two different ways you can do this. You can either click on source on the top right corner, you can click on source. You can see the screen mirroring right there. You can enable it manually from there or you could actually go into your settings again, into your network settings, really simple. And you can see the screen mirroring right there. Pretty awesome. So you can you can use both in this, in this, in this TV, you have to manually enable the screen mirroring. So click on the source again, click on this, screen mirroring tab. This is connected on HDMI, not the TV. So click on the, wait, click on the screen mirroring tab and bam, we are connected. Now, basically this means the TV is ready to be mirrored to. Okay, now what you wanna do is on your phone, on your phone, the first thing you wanna do is to make sure your phone is connected to your home Wi-Fi, as I've said before. So I'm just gonna connect my phone to my home Wi-Fi or the same Wi-Fi the TV is connected to. So basically right now my phone, Android phone and the TV are on the same network, okay. Now what you wanna do is head over to your settings page and inside the settings you wanna go into your connection and sharing settings. 
So inside the settings and scroll just a tiny bit and you will see a wireless display settings. Now click on the wireless display, enable the wireless display and it will automatically scan it for you. So let me just do it again for the sake of this video. And it should be available right there. So just click on it. It's connecting as you can see and it should be, it should be on there right there, see? And we are connected, pretty, pretty awesome. I mean, see, it was pretty simple. By the way, if you have a different brand of phone, if you have Samsung, LG, or Motorola, I will be linking every single video in the description box below, so be sure to check it out. It's pretty awesome, you can watch, you can do basically everything, can you listen to music? The audio will be coming from the TV actually, so I'm not gonna do that. It might, you know, copyright issues and stuff like that. But to the disconnect, to disconnect is really simple as well. Before I show you anything, head over to your, um, oh, it says, all right, so head over to your settings again. Now inside the, okay, wait, hold on. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is to disconnect is head over to your settings tab. Inside the settings, you go to your connection sharing settings. Now inside you go to wireless and if you turn off the wireless, it will automatically disconnect for you. So right there, it's really simple. Now let's do the, let's do, the, to do this again. To do this again, we have to manually enable the screen mirroring first. And now what you wanna do is to enable the screen mirroring wireless feature right there and just click on your TV and it should automatically connect your TV right there. Pretty simple. So in this case, I'm using a Redmi phone. This is a Redmi Note 10, but if you have a different brand of smartphone, just comment down below. I will definitely, definitely get back to you for sure. So as I said before, you got, you got tons of stuff. You can play games if you want to. You can even watch YouTube if you want to, if you want to. I mean, it's just awesome. It works, it works great. You can listen to music. You can use it however you like. By the way, let me know in the comment section below why do you want to mirror your Android phone to your TV? So. Well, that's it for the video. I'm Riz, and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.